this this is this has been under my table for a long time. You can feel how hard a cold wax gets. It's hard. Okay, and it's cured, completely cured. Um, and if I wanted to rejuvenate this, all I would have to do is to put a coat with, I just put, I just grab some with my fingers and spread it all over. And that would, and that would make this soft again. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to paint over this entire thing with black. And I am going to use my brayer. somewhere else if you want. Are you sure? That want a good coat of it. Yep, that's her black. First thing I want to show you is uh, the tissue paper and the newsprint. Let's say you have too much on here and it's just too thick. So all you would have to, to do really is to put a piece of any kind of absorbent paper and you can lift it. Lift some of that excess off just by doing something like that and that would take off any excess that you would have. Okay. Now that in itself becomes mm -hmm. great collage paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can do that with tissue, or even even if you have uh, some uh, paper towels that don't have pattern, you can use that too. Diva. Mm -hmm. Good way to create lines in your work if you have contrast in the loop. Hold this down. See the surface you get? gives you a different surface than what you have. But you might, it only works if you have a lot of contrast. Now I can also push it in. You see what happens when you push it in? Now if you want something even deeper, use this and you get a deep, deeper line. This would be a good way to, you know, if you're doing landscapes, you want a lot of creepy crawlies to stay on, on, on the landscape. This is a good way to do it. So you get, they're much deeper now. Can you see that? Yes. And of course, by doing something like this, that really gives you the deepness. I do that a lot in landscape. So let's say you have an area where there's rocks and you want to get lines and rocks. Just do something like this. Okay? Now, um, let me just smooth this out a little bit. I want to show you stencils and stamps, which you can do 
anyway. You can use your brayer, you can use uh, your scraper. And then now I can transfer this by turning it upside down and getting the reverse. There I have the reverse of the same thing. Of course you can use stamps by just pushing in. Or you can paint or you can paint your stamps. When I use stamps or if I use collage or anything like that, I always overlap them. And I mess them up somewhat because I don't want it to look like a stamp. Now, this little thing here, let's find it. I can hand you that piece of paper in your hand. This is a piece of wallpaper. Textured wallpaper that you've used quite a few times. Many, many, many times. I really like the pattern of this space. So, uh, these are some of the things that you can do. Then, of course, if I want to. See, this is a thin line as opposed to the other, which is a thicker line. Now we'll just wait just a little while. Should we wait two minutes? <laughs> or should we wait three minutes? Well, Ian's not doing it, yeah. so yeah. the <laughs> Days. <laughs> yeah, two minutes or two days. <laughs> Techniques on my board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think some of it came up. But what's happening is that I'm scraping off my stencil stuff. Because it's not dry. Because maybe. it's because it, it was too tacky or yeah. too wet. Too wet. I yeah. should, uh, I, if I would have waited. Let it get tacky. It yeah. would have it would have worked a lot better. Now let's try this again. Yeah. Now I just touched it. I know I did. I felt it. <laughs> See, I just touched it again. Did you hear that? Yeah. And it is clogged. Isn't that so oh, that's fast. fast. Huh? Oh yeah, it clogs real fast. So I'm immediately. And I, you have enough in there. Well, what I can do is I'll just turn it upside down in this one. No, oh, that one doesn't have enough in it either. Here, I can fill it for you. You sure? Yeah. I'm just going to go over to the sink just okay. because if I don't, then I'll spill it. <laughs> but it does. It's a good thing that you saw me do that, that you know what to do. Because like I said, it happened so quick. Yeah, you said that yesterday. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking about doing, but, you know, the things I showed you guys. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's two that I haven't sold yet because I tried something different. I, don't know. I think what I'm going to do is cut that up, although it's on canvas. Uh huh. And mount that on some I have tons of boards that I have on. Absolutely. And not on. Just it's on. Or just frame. And I could. I could do that same thing, that technique with modeling picks, mm -hmm. wine, oil, paper. Absolutely. And using. Absolutely. There's a little bit of my brown coming up. Remember that brown square that was yeah. right there? Now, something else that I want to show you. You had just put that on this morning. Yeah. Hard to say. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more black on this because I want to show you some things that you can do. Yeah. get a piece of this face down. Transfer some of it onto here. Okay. And you can you can even draw if you want it. to it with more yellow.
I'm going to try something. I don't know if I'm transferring it off, but we're going to try it. Thank you. Is it true? Would you like it? Just like that. Just is great. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your stencil stuff on me to grab. Yeah. Thank you. Like me, I think sticking to it. <laughs> now I can brayer this, or I can just take this across and push it down pretty good. The beautiful effect I'm getting. Mm -hmm. bottom. Yeah. Now I think that's gorgeous. And I could continue working with this with some deeper orange over into this area, okay? But there's just one other thing that I wanted to show you, and I have to show you on something different. Now, can you see, you can see some of my lines that I mm -hmm. threw in there. You sure. can see that? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to get another board and show you just one other thing that you can transfer with. And I do this a lot. Sure. And I'm going to put some cold wax on it. I don't like to wear gloves. This bird is tacky. I'm hoping it's wet enough. Now, the wax that transferred will become transparent. It will not stay like that. But what's interesting about this is now I can take my skewer, if I could find it, but I can't. But now I can draw into this. Thank you. I can draw into this. I want to show you, I want to show it to you with real pigment as opposed to graphite. That I can sprinkle it on. I can put it on that way and then put a coat of, can I have another piece of flex paper, small piece? This is 
notice how you seal something that's dry on your surface even water soluble if you put water soluble crayons or anything like that on it all you have to do is to, is uh, to seal it with cold wax and this is how you seal it you just brayer it on with cold wax on the top sealed in and then you can try to transfer more come off we'll try it and we did we put more up there and right here it did be sealed so that's an easy way to do that as well so there's many, 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 many different things that you could do to cold wax that you cannot do with any other medium. Any questions about any of that? Do you want me to show you collage now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that there was there was no doubt about that, was there? No. Collage is the easiest thing that you can do. That is a dollar store salt shaker, spice shaker. <laughs> Now, this is just a, a, a piece of uh, archival scrapbooking paper. But Anne, you being a photographer, what I would suggest that you do if you want to incorporate any of your photos with this, run a piece of, uh, take uh, two-sided tape okay. around the edges of a piece of copy paper. Right. Put it, and put on a piece of tissue paper. Okay. In other words, you're going to put that tissue paper on top of that paper that you're going to use. Uh, print your image on. Put it into your printer. Print your image on it. Take it off off of that carrier of the copy paper. So now you have your image right. on tissue paper. Uh, Are you uh, with me? I'm so with you. So that's going on top of the copy paper. Right. Right. And then so, you're putting your copy paper. No, you're throwing your copy paper. Your copy paper is only a guide to go through your printer. Yes. It becomes a carrier. Yes. If you do not have double-sided uh, tape the whole way around, it will jam. Yeah. I have tried it, believe me, and I've jammed up my printer so many times trying to do it. So now I just put it the whole way around. Okay. And I have absolutely no problem. Now what you can also get is um, what's called silk tissue. If you go onto Amazon and search for silk tissue, it is just exactly like tissue paper, except it's much, much stronger. And it completely disappears in cold wax. So you would only have your photo. It's called silk tissue. Daniel Smith used to carry it, and they no longer carry it. But with, with a piece of this, all I have to do of, of, of anything is just put cold wax on top of it. It's just, it's just like a glue. It's just like a glue. And what was that again? Just tissue. This is just a piece of paper okay. that I'm going to use as collage. Gotcha. also put wax paper down and bray it in if it's something a little bit heavier. But what would be even more interesting you want to put lines on is, Michael, would you give me a piece of uh, tissue paper, please? Just a small piece and you can tear it up. Just tear me a piece off. Just 
just about anything. And I could, I could go in there with magic marker, I could draw with, with any of those utensils, those art crayons that we were using, many different things. Make sure this is dry. It's not quite dry because that's the marker, it's wet. And then what you're going to do is exactly the same thing. And I'm going to tear this in half. smears is because it's still wet. It's a good way, another way to get line in your work. Now tissue paper will disappear somewhat, but that silk tissue that I was talking about completely disappears. And you can see, tissue paper almost disappears. Not quite. You can still see it. But it's a good way to get line in your work. And then what I, then what I do when I'm working with uh, tissue paper or something like this, I'll just take some of my background color and go over those edges somewhat and, and try to blend it in. You with me? Mm -hmm. Works really well. Now I'm getting mud from my red from my red uh, pigment. I have a beginning of a nice painting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you never know. Any questions about collage? You can use that, Michael. Now that's a little bit heavier. Okay, so you want to make sure uh, that you, uh, what you're putting it on is either wet or very tacky. So I would put, if you're working on a dry piece of, uh, such as this, now this is tacky, I would put another coat of cold wax on it. So it's good and wet. And then put, then put it on, put it on the back of that. Mm -hmm. And then put wax paper down and brayer it in really good. Okay. Any other questions? Nope. Very good. Wow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for showing. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah, I have lots of that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. They they make great pieces for collage. Old patterns. Huh? Yes, they are.
this is your time to experiment because when you're experimenting, you're going to end up having lots of questions and I'm here to answer them. 